Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa. And guess what we're still talking about today? We are talking about the life cycle of a salmon. And don't forget to watch till the end of the story because we're gonna do a really fun activity afterwards. The story for today is called Salmon Stream. And it's written by Carol Reed Jones and illustrated by Michael S. Maydak. This is the stream in the forest. This is the water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the deep and shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. The egg of a salmon, born to travel, hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the tiny fish that hatched and has its dinner still attached, from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water, clear and cool, that flows in the stream in the forest. This is the trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. A hovering osprey dived to snatch the wily trout that tried to catch the tiny fish so newly hatched that has its dinner still attached from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool, filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. These are the spotted fry that grow and wait for a sign they instinctively know. The rains will tell them when to go. They leave the place where the osprey snatched, the wily trout that tried to catch, the tiny fish so newly hatched that had its dinner still attached, from the egg of a salmon born to travel that hides in the nest of rocky gravel, far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. Traveling down with a current's flow, facing upstream as they go, the smolt pass obstacles great and small, gravelly shallows, a waterfall, through culverts and pipes devised by man, down a fish ladder on a dam and to an estuary wide. Drifting with the ebbing tide, they reach their saltwater home at last, an ocean indescribably vast. The salmon grow for months in the sea, catching fish and swimming free. Coho salmon, steelhead trout, Chinook salmon, pink salmon, sockeye, chum, Atlantic salmon trying not to become a meal for human, sea lion, orca, or seal until they get the homing urge to gather where the river and ocean merge. This is the rain that swells the rivers and sends the message that nature delivers to salmon to send them home to spawn, relentlessly swimming on and on, up the river with the tide, past the estuary wide. Up a fish ladder, on a dam, through culverts and pipes devised by man. Obeying the voice of instinct's call, they leap a 10-foot waterfall to reach the place where they were born, bruised from the journey, weary and worn. The salmon come home at the end of their lives. They spawn and each little egg that survives will start the cycle over again with the coming of the rain and silver smolt will discover the sea and turn to salmon swimming free. And tiny fish will one day hatch with their dinner still attached from the eggs of a salmon born to travel that hide in the nest of rocky gravel far beyond the shady pool filled with water clear and cool that flows in the stream in the forest. All right, little ones, let's go do a project together. 
All right, little scientists, let's label the parts of a fish. First, let's find the word fish. That's gonna be pretty easy because you can already see fish is written at the top left-hand corner. So let's find the word fish here. And there it is. Starts with a f fish. Now, I think another pretty easy part of the fish is the head. So let, we'll start with the head. And here is the fish's head, including the eye. Now, can you find the lateral line? That's the lateral line. So I'm gonna put that right on top of the line. And next, let's find the caudal fin. Another name for caudal fin is the tail fin. So can you find the tail of the fish? Yes, here it is, back here. How about we find the dorsal fin? Where do you think the dorsal fin is? So the dorsal fin helps the fish to stay stable against rolling or when they are making sudden turns, right? We don't want the fish to roll over or when they're turning or when they're swimming. So that is what the dorsal fin does, is help keep the fish stable. And the dorsal fin is right here on top. Now, can we find the pectoral fin? The pectoral fin. We have pectoral muscles. Do you know where our pectoral muscles are? They are right near our shoulder on the sides of our chest. We have pectoral muscles. So that might give you a clue. Where is the pectoral fin on a fish? That's right, right here. This is the pectoral fin. And the pectoral, there are two of them on either side, and they are what help control the direction of the movement of the fish, whether up and down or side to side. Okay, now let's look for the pelvic fin. Do you have a pelvis? You do. It's down by your hips. Your hips are part of your pelvic bone. And so let's see if that gives you a clue if you could find the pelvic fins on this fish. Yes, they are located at the bottom of the fish. So down here, and they help balance the fish and keep it level, also preventing it from rolling side to side. That's why fish have all these fins. Our last label is ventral fin, and there's only one fin left, so I think you'll be able to guess which one it is. It's also located at the bottom of the fish, just like the pelvic fin on the belly of the fish, and it helps with steering as well as balance. Now, you can do this activity at home and you can color in the different parts of the fish. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.